Engineers have been trying for centuries to get people in the air before the Wright brothers finally did it with their biplane glider. Wartime saw Europeans develop the strategic missile, the jet engine and better radar. A few years later, Chuck Yeager flew the Bell X-1 faster than the speed of sound. The rocket craft cracked the sonic barrier. Another first for American aviation. And by the 70s, we were taking supersonic commercial flights across the globe. Today, suborbital reusable vehicles are creating a new spaceflight industry, yet just two companies are competing in this space. I finally gave up on waiting for NASA to uh, allow us to go into space. So I formed a company called Virgin Galactic Airways and set about flying around the world to see if I could find an engineer or technician who could build a reusable spaceship. With the idea of starting a whole new era of commercial spaceship travel, our mission is to, to start taking people to space commercially from the beginning of 2014. All through 2013, we'll testing, testing, testing until we get approval from the FAA and then we'll start flying it commercially from the island of Curacao in the, in the Caribbean. Richard Branson's spaceship is a, a bit bigger. It fits six people in the back. It's carried underneath a mothership to an altitude of 12 kilometers. Then it's dropped and then it takes off like a rocket from there. Our spaceship it takes off like a conventional airplane but again, then goes straight up into the air and uh, we reach space within four minutes. The largest market for these flights are high net worth individuals, with the second being scientists and researchers. We're going to be able to put satellites into space at a fraction of the price that you're able to do it today. Uh, we'll be able to understand the ozone problems much better. This century will be the century of commercial space lines. In 20 to 25 years from now, the next successor of our spaceship will be able to take you from London to Sydney within two hours. 